Okay, you smash it. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Ah, it's red. Or the devil's hand. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Hey guys, we now are to the big Dino Ice Age, Series 3. We got the Dino Ice Age Surprise. I mean, they're huge eggs. If you didn't watch our other videos, they had the mini eggs, and then they had the small little smasher eggs. Well, we graduated, we now come to the big, huge eggs. And it's super cool. And you can tell, just by looking at the hands, that there ought to be a different dinosaur in each one of these. And these hands, they look pretty cryptic. I mean, if I didn't know I was looking for a dinosaur, I think zombies coming out, like the green zombie hand, ah, the devil hand. Ah, it's red. But this is cool, guys. We've got all three and let's put these to the side and let's just take a look at the front here and go through what we're about to open and you can see on the front it's zero smashers it's the dino ice age surprise over 25 surprises and then you can see it's series 3 dino and you got the big t-rex crashing out of the ice and then it's for ages 5 and older okay now let's go ahead and go to the back and see all the goodies that we're about to get into when we crack open this baby it's got smash fizz build and more and then below that you got smash slime fizz stretch freeze build and more oh man that's a lot of activity that's cool and at the bottom it says what you can collect all the uh, smashosaurs there's a total of three you have the ice raptor rap, rap, let's ice wrap and then you got the blizzard dactyl oh that's cool and then the frozen mammoth now the frozen mammoth comes in the blue here he's hard to get so if you find the blue hand you're gonna get the mammoth and then we'll go over the rest of what you're gonna find in these other eggs here and then you can see there it says enter the smashers froze zone for the biggest dino surprise since the ice age the new dino ice age surprise egg is packed with over 25 icy surprises for you to discover. Unwrap and follow the Arctic Scratch map, smash fizz, slime, and build the ultimate smash sore Follow the Arctic Scratch map. That'd be cool if it was a scratch and... I mean, you got the scratch part. Where do I sniff? And then over to the side, you got some uh, information here that I think it's important when it comes to warning. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Choking hazards. Small parts and small balls. Do not aim at eyes or face when you're smashing the smashers. Wash hands with clean water thoroughly before and after using the product. Keep hands dry to play. To avoid drying, store it in a tight sealed container. This product is not editable. Do not put it in your mouth. Call a doctor immediately if it's ingested. Do not stick on your eyes or face. Do not use fabric, hair, or pore surface that can easily be wipe clean residue or color may transfer or basically stain so yeah guys when you start playing with this and you get the ooze and things don't touch your face just go ahead and wash your hands and then clean them off before you start doing anything else like that and then down at the bottom you can see it says includes one dino ice age surprise egg one frozen dino bag one arctic scratch map one stretchy snow one crystal slime one blizzard bomb <laughs> stink bomb one growing snow one frozen slime six mini smash eggs oh that's cool with six surprise characters one smash egg rebuilder Finally, we get a rebuilder for the eggs. We had to use our egg carton to actually rebuild these little smashers that you're gonna find here. Then you get one smash with sore and one instruction seat, one collector's guide. Awesome, we're ready to go and cut into this. And since this is our mammoth, I like him, so I'm gonna save him at the end. But let's go for the green gold guy. Let's go for the creepy mummy-like green hand and let's open him. So on the side, you got the preparations here. You can see just the tears. You wanna, you know, take your fingernail, kind of pull through that. That works, or get a fork and just slide it down or if you've got a butter knife maybe you can just kind of oh yeah slice it down like that oh, that makes it easy i like it oh cool okay looks like we got plastic on plastic okay so we took out the outer plastic now we got to go to the any oh look at that that's cool so it's got the dinosaur right there all in bones mr bones he looks awesome on the front and the back and so to open this we got two more perforated lines down here dots dashes and get your finger in there and it's an easy tear it looks like Cool. And look, you got scratch marks. You have blat marks and all those poop marks or just like snot marks or squish a bug mark. You got bones. I mean, this is a cool egg. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so what do we do? Oh, that's not cracking it. Well, we gotta smash it, right guys? That ain't smashing. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what else came out of here? Guys, it's easy to put back together, super easy. You just take this and it's got little notches there. You just slide right down into it. So once you get on the outside and the outside and... Oh, that's just so easy. Oh, I gotta turn it my way so I can see it. But, oh, this is like the easiest egg to put back together. Humpty Dumpty, and he may have had a great fall, but all the king horses and all the king men, you don't need all of them, you just need one, it's easy. Gosh, I didn't know if you had to do a... Uh, yeah. oh. We're just trying to crack our egg and find out the best way to crack it. It's cool because the way I did it... It looks like a big balloon. <laughs> He's got his tongue out. 
It looked like he was frozen in time in the midst of catching, a, getting a bug. What is he, a cross between a frog and some sort of dinosaur? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's cool. That's a funny little wrapping package. And then you got skeezers right there to open it up. Oh look, you actually have a mosquito right into his tail trying to get what he can out of him. <laughs> All frozen in time. Guys, it's got a picture of scissors and it says not included. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Please click on what? But we got our scissors. So make sure you guys have your toolkit. Did you hear that? Oh, and there is a smell to it. <laughs> Just new plastic. I thought the dinosaur lit of the toot, <laughs> but woo. It just released a lot of air. So they had that inflated. God, I'll take a smell of that prehistoric after all these ages. Ooh, it says on the plastic, warning plastic bags can be dangerous to avoid danger of suffocation. Keep bag away from babies and children, of course. Cool. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, we got a rebuilder egg right there. Sweet. Oh, we got our collector's guide. Oh, wow, wow, this is cool. That's a lot of stuff, guys. Okay, we start with the boring black and white. So this one actually comes with what you're building right here. So we're building a T-Rex. And then over here, once you smash these eggs right here, you crack them open. This is how to put them back together again. And you can use this little volcano cup to actually rebuild your smashers. And the cool thing is, is once you crack these open and it breaks everywhere, you can go ahead and put them in here to rebuild them. Oh, that just fits nicely. So you can go ahead and start rebuilding it, put the uh, surprise inside back in or hey go ahead and put like candy in it you know that'd be great for easter egg or put some money in it for easter and you know just go ahead and gather them and pick them up smash them and egg that keeps on giving you just have to rebuild it okay so let's look at the collector's guide next oh, this is interesting so you have a front and a back side on the front side you have five you can collect that are rare, and then you have the two that are playset exclusive, the Arctic Ape and the Blizzard Bear. And those two guys are only available in this playset here. And you can see you got the Arctic Ape right there. And the Blizzard Bear, we hope, is here, okay? <laughs> so those are the only two that you can find in that exclusive playset. So if you want all 51, then you've got to get the exclusive playset. And then you've got your ultra rare glow in the dark cool caveman. Awesome. I hope we find them in here. I mean, but with over 50 to collect, okay, in this case because of the play set, we're not including that one. Then we have a total of 49 to collect. So of the 49 to find an ultra rare here, that'd be sweet, that'd be amazing. I'd be happy with one of the rares like the Siberian lion. He looks cool and the chili mammoth. Mm, yes, so let's hope that we get him. <laughs> That's quite the chili bowl to have a mammoth in there, you know. Oh, and then on the back side here, they have what's called a scratch map. So that's what we read on the outside. You know, I joked about scratch and sniff. Well, I don't think you can scratch and sniff a dinosaur. I mean, what would you smell on him? But it's a scratch map and on the scratch map, you got one, oops, frozen dino poops, two, thaw the claw, three, hatch it if you can, four, frozen bones, and five, can you handle the tooth? So guys, let's go ahead and do the scratch map, and I'm just gonna use my butter knife. I wonder if fingernails would work. Ah, uh, yeah, it actually scratches really easy, guys. Look at this. What does that say? Oops, frozen dino poops, and is it, what does it say? Blizzard bomb? <laughs> Oh, that's the bomb, man. You walk across. Oh, I just stepped in a blizzard bomb. Oh, my goodness. So, thaw the claw. Let's see what that's about. Crystal slime. So, it looks like you're finding out what you're getting here because there's the crystal slime. Here's our poopsie. So, let's go down to hatch it if you can. Well, let's scratch it to hatch it. So this right here, hatch it if you can. So right here, this is our hatchet container. That looks cool. So let's go to the next one for f -f -f frozen bones. So let's see what the frozen bones reveals to us. And this one is stretchy snow. So here's our stretchy snow right here, guys. You can see right there. And then the last one, I mean, just by deductive reasoning, that was the last one. But hey, can you handle the tooth? And so it's this one right here. Just looks like that, guys, right? So guys, is this the order of operation? Is this how we go? First, we have to open the poop fee. <laughs> so it's the blizzard bomb. It looks like it's a bath fizzy. Guys, do not take a bath with this. This may not be safe. I mean, it says don't touch it, wash your hands before and after, so. So let's go ahead and do our bath bomb, see what we find inside. Oh, look at that, little fizzies. Starting to fizz. Man, I don't know if this is gonna be big enough and it's gonna fizz out all over the table. Oh, look at that. <laughs> You ready for the poop fee? Let's see what dinosaur poop really is. Maybe it's super toxic. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought that was gonna come out right onto the table. It's getting close. Oh, we got a plate. We got a second backup just in time. Woo! That I think will stain. All those bubbles are releasing like the smell. This toxic smell. Oh, that's just cool looking. Look, bubble. 
Oh look, and it's still there. If I push it, oh, wow, soupy. I suppose they're supposed to find something in here, guys. You know what? I'm gonna go in with some gloves, okay? Because <laughs> I really don't want to get this on me. I mean, this is a bath bomb. Oh, look at that. We're getting something there. That's cool. Do not be scared by what you see here. <laughs> Just because I'm wearing gloves. Oh look, now you can see the inside of it now. Totally blue. I mean, guys, you could dye your Easter eggs in here, I think. And we're still gotta get the rest of this fizzy stuff off. So yeah, when it says fizz on the container here, my goodness, it means like fizz. This is huge. I never seen a bath bomb this dark. This is cool. And we're just trying to get his little claw out, his little foot. It just sounds super fizzy. We're almost there. Hold it underwater and it fizzes faster. I don't know guys, I'm not testing it to put this on the table and go, I wonder if it stains, you know? If you do get some on the table in a place you don't want, as long as it's kind of hard like this, you could use a Mr. Clean white bar there to rub it off. There you go. We got that out of all that fizz. Whew. We are true excavators, dinosaur enthusiasts to be able to go through all that. Well, see, we'll soon find out if it stains. I don't know. Wow. So step number two is to thaw the claw, which is the crystal slime. So you got little two perforations. If you pinch on either side and tear, it should come off. If not, just go ahead and use skeezers. And there we go. Oh, okay, we're getting something bigger now. Crystal slime. Oh, that's kind of hard to get out. It's really stuck. Oh, and we left a lot of slime in there. Look at that crystal slime. Ah, oh, it feels like rubbery too. I wouldn't call it slime per se, just because let me get all of it off of this body part. So there's the uh, torso as it were. That's cool. But look at that crystal. So they got like little glitter dots in there. That looks pretty cool. Well, it does stretch and it does break, it just snaps. It's cool and you can actually just squish it. Oh, it feels cool. It's almost like Gujitsu. And look, it's into a ball. It just looks like one of those cookie dough balls where it's very glistening, you know, from all the butter in there and stuff. But yeah, guys, do not eat this. It's got a nice bounce to it. I like it. That's cool. We got that from the poopsie. We got this from the crystal slime. What is next? Number three. Hatch it if you can. Oh, here we go. We're going for the growing snow. You grow snow. So look, we're supposed to take off the plastic and it says peel here. In fact, at the bottom, there you go. It tells us the instructions right there. So go ahead and peel and then pour the water in and watch it grow. So let's get the plastic off. And maybe I can just get it with my finger, tear the plastic. Okay, so it wants us to peel off the top and it says peel and fill with water. Okay, so guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this with water first, and then we're gonna pull this off second. I think that's what it wants us to do. Let's get a plate just in case to keep our area clean. Oh, there's the paper that came off with it. So one, peel and fill with water, and then after you fill it with water and the snow starts growing, then you can go ahead and peel that off to release it. So, okay, we got a coffin here full of water. One of our favorite toys too, Treasure X. That's kind of cool if you look around on here. It's got some fossils, it's got some bones. So let's go ahead and fill it with water. There we go. Keep filling it with water. I'm getting a lot of water around the side, just dribbling out. Let's see if we can just dribble it this way. Oh, you see it's starting to grow inside. Just, I don't know how much we need to keep filling it with water, but that's I'm just gonna keep going. It doesn't say how much, so I'm just gonna keep filling it up and up and up. Now it's filling. Okay guys, should we peel the lid? It's starting to bulge. Oh yeah! Look at that snow just coming out. That's cool. And look at that, you see how it's kind of wet, damp here and up there, it's a little bit dry. It's probably because it doesn't have enough water on it. I guess it grew as, as much as it could, but look at that. Gonna find and excavate another body part or parts. Okay, there's one. But yeah, you wanna make sure you wash your hands after this, guys. At least that's my recommendation. According to the instructions, that's what we'll do. But uh, it just feels really cool. Oh, and you got the snow up in his footsies, so we'll scrape that out. Oh, those are cool body parts. Oh, it feels really cool. It really sticks to you. And the water that's on there in these beads and stuff, you know, I just, it's actually, I think the gross snow is stuff that they put in in some of the foods. So if any moisture gets in there, it just grows in and it doesn't get the food wet that's in that container there. Keep the moisture off it so it doesn't rot as, as fast. Okay, number four is for, for frozen bones. You want the stretchy snow. Cool, let's go ahead and take it and tear it. Oh, that was a little bit tough. Stretchy snow. Oh, oh yeah, that is very stretchy. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. Whoa, that is super cool. 
Look, I'm playing the harp. Okay, so we got another body part here. Got quite a few more. We're scoring the body parts now. We're picking up speed. Oh, this is cool. What is that? Is it looks like he's actually got a chain to his leg? He's actually got a chain around him like he's in some sort of like a circus. I'll have to build it and see what the actual outcome is. Interesting. And look, he's got a, looks like another chain that's kind of cracked around here too. Huh, maybe they caught him and they tried to put him into a zoo where they could show everybody and he broke the chains. You guys tell the difference between the two here. See the slime here versus the stretchy snow. Oh, cool, so we got some more body parts. Now we're getting down to the last one, number five, can you handle the tooth? So this one is gonna be our frozen slime. This is where we actually got his big noggin. And you can see right there, we wanna cut with scissors. That's what we're gonna do. Cut it with the scissors and then just pull back. Oh, now that slime, that is like super goopy. Woo, look at that. And it's coming from his head. He's got a sinus condition. Oh. Wow, that's a cool head. These are huge. Compared to those little dino ones that we opened up, these mini dino eggs. You guys want to watch that. You want to see the difference between the two. That's super cool. There's his head. He looks ferocious. And there's our slime, guys. Oh, it's pretty wet. Usually slime that I played with before, if you had dry hands, they would just stick right to it and you couldn't pull it off. But this one's pretty wet. Oh. That's cool slime. So you see the difference between all three now? We got our wet slime, we got our crystal slime. Oh, don't let that stick. And then we got our wet snow. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them all on the plate because I don't want them to really stick to the table. Don't know if they're gonna stain, but that's what we're gonna do. Next, let's go ahead and build our monster. The first thing we wanna do is let's just get the bodice and the head and make sure I put the head on the right side. I assume it's, oh, look at that. Can actually move it up and down like that. Oh, look, that's cool. If you push on this, it moves the, uh, I assume that's the tail. Oh, sweet. I want to see what that looks like. That's a good snap. This is cool. Put on his tail and make sure I get the right way for his tail. Uh, it might be because there's slime in there. I think that's about right. Yeah. On the tail. That's cool. Oh, we better build him before we get too spooky. He's looking like an awesome dinosaur. I really like him. So we'll snap it on. Okay, you got two different feet. So the one with the toe really cricked up here on that side, the innie. So we're gonna put it on this side, snap it in. And then let's do this side. He's looking cool. I like him. Oh, awesome. And it looks like he does actually have chains on him or he broke from the chains. And you can move the feet. Let's position it so we can get him to stand. Voila. He's cool, guys. I give him a thumbs up. He looks sweet. This looks like an awesome dinosaur, guys. The T-Rex. I know it was hard to find the mammoth to get, but now, you know what? If I never got the mammoth, as far as what I can see right now, he's awesome. And look at that. Yes. Subscribe, you will. I talk like Yoda because, like him, I am green. Yes. And you can turn his feet around. You can adjust his arms. You can't close his mouth, and I don't think you can twist his head, really. But still, what an awesome find, guys. So that's that's what comes with green, the green hand. Okay guys, now it's time for some smash and fun. You get a total of six eggs and they have little perforations here for the egg, the plastic. So if you get your fingernail in, it should just tear off right easily. There you go, look he spit. Oh, let's just go ahead and go through all of them. Oh, come on camera mom. Oh, camera mom, I gave her one to help to open and it slipped and then she smashed it. Oh, and you know what camera mom found for us? She found us the winter wolf, which is a rare. Great, thanks camera mom. He looks cool. He's got like green on his back, like a bug splat. He's got a little pink blue. Oh, sweet. And he is the winter wolf. That's awesome. I guess out of all this, probably we may not find any more rares or I would like to find the cool caveman, the ultra red glow in the dark. That would just be so awesome. Okay, you smash it. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh my goodness, I've never seen it. Woo, it's the winter werewolf, woo, the winter wolf. So we have a rare. You got two bottoms here. One is more curved than the other one. So to put the egg back together, you wanna go with the one that's least curvy. So this one is the least curvy. Go ahead and drop it inside your volcano here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna take these two long sides. These two long sides actually have a top and a bottom. Now the top actually is kind of flat. It looks like a spoon as opposed to the bottom here where it's not really spoony. It's 
not as flat or as open. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the bottom sides to these and you wanna put them in on either side of your egg builder like this, okay? And then you wanna take your rare, if you have a rare, or a treat, candy, whatever can fit in there, like a peanut, M&M, mm, m and ms And then once you kind of fit them in there thus, then you wanna take the sides. And when it comes to putting on the sides, you wanna put it so the uh, Smashers text logo is facing up, not upside down, okay? So it's gotta be right side up. Go ahead and put them on the sides. And put it up on the sides. And that's pretty much it. Then you just take this one and you may want to like kind of take your fingers and just pinch it a little bit because what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this right through, right in the middle. And as it pushes, it's gonna push these things out. But if you use your fingers a little bit as you push through, once it gets to the other side, it's gonna be below this lip right here. You wanna actually angle it up to push it up so it snaps over on this other side, okay? So I'm gonna push it through and it's already in, right? And so what you wanna do is you want to get your finger up there to kind of help lift it up. And then I've got my thumb behind it to push from behind. See my thumb? I'm pushing down on it and I'm lifting up in front with my finger and I'm just getting it to slide into place. Oh, until you feel it snap right into place. It's almost there. There we go. Woo, smash. Okay, cool, we have a Raptor, yo, yo, yo. Actually, there's three different colors for the most part of each species. So for this one, it's a common, an ice Raptor. And you just throw these and they just smash. Oh, sweet. We have a Triceratops, awesome. And they call him a Tundra Triceratops, cool. Come on, rare. And no, we got a T-Rex, but what they call him here is a Cool Rex. Oh yeah, the orange looks great. And we got two left, so here we go. We're trying to go for the cool caveman. Oh no, we got, look, a birdie. We got a pterodactyl. And they call him in here. We've got polar dactyl. Finally. Mm, yeah, it's the ultra rare. No, it's our mammoth. It's Manny the mammoth. Manny! What do they call him on here? Yeah, he's a chili mammoth. Awesome, guys. This was super fun. Wow, you had a lot of steps to break open to actually get your dinosaur. But once you got your dinosaur together, the T-Rex, oh man, that was a whole world of fun. And it's cool because you got him now and you could totally play with him. I mean, I just the I action I movement. I I love it, that's super cool. And then to enhance the fun, look, you can go ahead and smash these open once you're done smashing them. Actually, Caleb and I, for their earlier smashers that they had, series one, we were able to put them together pretty fast. So guys, once you get the hang of it, it's a little bit hard at first, but once you get the hang of it, you just use that index finger to kind of lift up, you use your thumb behind to push it in, slide it in and boom. And then you're just going through it really super fast. So, hey, cool, it comes with an egg builder, I like it. So you can put all this together, have some fun with it, not just with these and, and finding different ones and putting them back together, but have fun with, you know, parents go ahead and have a smasher party, put treats and candies inside, put money inside, make it really cool. Hey guys, now we're moving on to the next one, our pterodactyl, which comes in the red hand or the devil's hand. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. Let's just tear it open. Oh, and then it cuts right into that other plastic and I can't get going any further. I just have to do the first layer of plastic. So, hey, we're going to the smasher thing again. That was cool, guys. Have fun with this, man. Really give it, and look, it holds out. These things are tough. These eggs don't crack easy. Well, they will if you give it a hi -ya. Gosh, it's so fun to put it back together. It's easy to put it back together. That's what I love about these eggs. Oh my goodness, these are excellent, great keepers. That was easy. I did it without my glasses. So cool, we know what's in there. We just gotta open this up for our pterodactyl. And you guys wanna hear it when you open it up, because it's, look, it's all puffy. It's all full of that hot air. It's got the same dude, but I'm just gonna do this because, you know, anytime gas escape, things could fly out. I wanna make sure I have my glasses on. Oh, that was a little, the other one was just shh, because I did a little hole. Awesome. Guys, this is fun. Put in the comments below if you're gonna collect all of them. This is cool. Oh, look, we have different color poop. It's not dark poop, it's light poop. It looks a lot lighter. We'll find out. We'll have to rewind the video and watch, but I think this is a lighter poo. You didn't get as much iron in them, so it's a lighter poo. I know my poo. I've been through rainbow corns and their smelly poops. I know my poo. I love these little egg things that, that put together. It makes it so easy to put these smashers back together. Okay, should we go through the steps? Let's go through our poop, see? Let's see if it turns a darker blue or different blue, then I'm wrong. Either that or I'm colorblind. It's a lighter blue. Let's just see, we'll soon find out. Oh, I could be wrong, but oh, maybe. Okay guys, and we just peel this off, pour the water in there, or you can just tear it up and go right for the legs and not have to deal with all the snow. <laughs> There's really not much snow in there. Doesn't look like it, but it's enough to grow. And it does kind of look like the same color. It looks like a lighter blue to me. Oh, stretchy snow. You know, if you don't have to use scissors, 
you do have, it's a Ziploc bag, guys, so you can put your snow back in here and just zip it up. But you see, I cut past the lines, so I can't zip it back up now. I have to use a regular Ziploc bag. So yeah, what you're getting with the red hand, the demon hand, you're getting the red demon pterodactyl. The color, he looks awesome. Wow, look at those wings. That is sweet. This is cool. This pterodactyl looks pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Look at his mouth, man, he's huge. Pterodactyl, episodes of the movie of the Ice Age just keep coming to mind. Anyways, man, look at that head. Yeah, look at that, guys. My hands are blue. I might have to wash them here. If you do use the scissors, just cut above the zip line, as it were, for the ziplock, just where the tears are. So that way, you can open it here, pull it out, and you can see that you got the ziplock bag, so you can put it back in there and zip it back up, okay? All right, we got his footsies. Maybe we can just take some of it out just by pressing up against his body, and it works pretty well. Cool, let's build ourselves a monster. Look at my blue hands, guys. Yeah, you probably don't want to put your hands in there, use gloves or something or something to fish it out, but uh, let's just go see if it washes off. Okay guys, the moment I put my hand under water, it just washed all off. And then I use a little soap. I wouldn't want to sit in this. Dip your hands like those palm oil commercials, you know. Hey, look, you dip it in palm oil for a while. You have softer hands. Well, you're gonna have bluer hands. <laughs> so get that out as fast as you can. Let's see if we can go ahead and put this together, guys. And just do it without the instructions. I'm assuming that's where that goes. This one looks a little bit too technical for me. I'm just gonna give the benefit of the doubt to these instructions and hopefully they work. Oh, they have them all labeled too. Some of the instructions, they have A through K, it looks like, or something, you know, all the different letters there and what letters go where. So let's follow the letters then. So you got the A connected to the B and the B connected to the G. We're missing something. Oh yeah, guys, <laughs> guess what? I'm sitting here looking at this going, miss a tail and it's over here in the crystal slime. Uh, true dinosaur hunters or excavators and stuff, when they go and search, you know, archeologists, they don't let things like that disappear. They truly unearth everything. And I gotta do a better job, guys. But hey, I'm learning. That's what it's all about, right? So we'll put his tail on. I don't know how uh, there's that slime that kind of gets in the way of the tail, but that looks pretty good. And then we want to get the two hind legs with the two feet. And we wanna put the feet together. So we'll go with that build there. We'll go with this build here. Gosh, I wish I played Legos a lot when I was a kid. It's getting difficult. Snap those on the hind legs. Cool. And then we're supposed to stand up, really? Oh, that's cool. Woo! <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I like it. Let me get his tail on right. Well, so far, that's cool. Zero, you did awesome with these. And then now we've got the wings. So we'll have the short wings and the extended wings. So these will connect to this. So it's got to go up and it looks kind of like this. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. I think that's right. I think that's it. That looks cool. Wow, and it slides so easy in a place too for that. Oh man, this guy's looking awesome. Guys, what do you think? Oh, he's super awesome. Move his tail to swing his head? Huh? Oh look, move his tail to swing his head. That's awesome. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking his tail and moving it from side to side as his head. Not watch any other channels. Adventure fun! He's awesome. He looks super cool. And especially his wingspan underneath. Orange and red. That's him over here. And his tail balances him so he leans back on his tail. That's super cool. He's like in attack mode coming down. With the T-Rex coming after him. I mean the T-Rex is supposed to be a lot larger than our pterodactyl by far. So maybe he's just a little baby. T-Rex. Awesome. Man, I haven't been disappointed in any of these at all. This is cool. Now, Zuru, don't disappoint me with my eggs. All I'm asking is for a caveman. I'm wondering if there's going to be one rare in every single one of these. Because, you know, we got the wolf here, the wolfie. And so I'm just wondering if one comes with the rare, each one. I don't know. Might be cool if it did. Kind of build up your hopes and want to get all the rest. But hey, collecting these is super cool. Let's go ahead and smash these and see if we can find any rares. We got a saber tooth, ice one. Yes! <laughs> we got the ultra rare! Woo! He looks awesome! And his spear is actually pointed straight! If you watch the other Smasher videos, he actually has his spear down. Oh man, look at that. He's got one bloodshot eye too. Oh yeah, he looks angy. 
are hangry. That is cool, guys. That's awesome, an ultra rare. Now let's make it sweet and see if we can just find another rare. Oh, we got an eggy, and he's a pencil top. You can go ahead and put him on top of the pencil. It's got a hole there, so when you're at skill, you can go ahead and just say, oh, eggy, you're cheating for me. You're looking at everybody else's pencil. No, we don't cheat, but he's got an eye there to keep an eye to make sure nobody else is cheating. That's what he does, the, the eye. And then we got a Skeeter, and he's a pencil topper too. That's right, pencil topper. Oh, we got a rare, he's a pencil topper. He's the, I know him, Siberian lion, look at him. He is so cool. And this is one of my favorite rares here, guys. He just looks like Aslan from uh, The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. That's what I love about this, look at that. Oh man, now you're roaring when you're doing your schoolwork, look at that. You're on fire. In fact, if your mascot for your school is some bear, you're like, you know what? No, it's him, Siberian lion. Awesome, so we got an ultra rare and a rare. One more rare, let's just do it. No, no, but he's cool. He's a pencil topper too. He's Bronte baby, and he goes right on top of the pencil. That's awesome. That's so cool, an ultra rare and a rare. Man, pterodactyl, he came up with some good stuff. Okay guys, we're moving to the last one here. Money! the mammoth and um we're gonna go ahead and just oh this is gonna be cool i can't wait to see what he's like <laughs> these have been fun smashing i love it god you gotta have fun with these things i mean i just love how easy these eggs put right back together all right full of hot air let's do it again Okay, we got our poopsie again. We gotta get this out and it's the same color, yeah. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and uh, excavate this. Here we go, foaming again. Oh, that's just cool. We'll let that bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Cauldron burn and corn syrup bubble. Oh, he's huge. Well, more body parts. Let's make sure we get all the body parts out of them. They're huge, hard to miss. And then we can just stick it to pull the others off. Fairly easy, we just tap it. Tap, 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 yoga pudding. Slap, 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 yoga pudding. Oh, look at that, our cesspool. And it just melds in, that's cool. Oh, usually they have the head in here, don't they? Oh, maybe they miss a head. So what do you think? So far we got Manny the Mammoth from the Ice Age, or do we get Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street who just drank too many like a blue ices? Again, references probably nobody would understand. Ooh, here we got the Mammoth Tusk. Those are cool. Heads in here in the stretchy snow. He's cute, he's adorable. <laughs> Look at that, come on guys, who's cuter? Is a uh, little baby Yoda or Manny the Mammoth? <laughs> we gotta put his tusks on. It's like, you know, not having tusks on is like not wearing any clothes. We gotta give him that Manny Mammoth look. Oh. oh, get that off. That was it. Guys, look at my hands. Oh God, I gotta hurry and wash that off. I don't want it to stain. So all that for a tail. Okay guys, let's put this baby together. And we're gonna take his head and we're gonna put his tusks on. Okay, so the A is the one that's not the broken tusk. So this part that it's like, looks like it's broken. So that's gonna go on one side this way. And it looks like there's just a way to put it in. Uh, let's see, the notches gotta go right there. There we go. So there's a little like uh, pressions there that's supposed to slide in the hole in his nose there a certain way. Oh, you can see it's just really notched right there. So um, let's just turn that the right way to push it in. Okay, cool. Then we need his body. I'll just put it like this. Cool. So the E goes up front and the big one goes in the back. Well, that would have to go on the other side just because it wouldn't fit on this side. Okay his tail and then move his tail to swing his head is it left to right oh there we go up and down for the tail if there's like a lot of goo in here yeah we might have to clean it okay there we go tail moves his head Woo! it's not moving as easy for us it moves one way pretty easy but to move it back it slowly turns back if you leave it on its own so that looks pretty cool he swings and then he just slowly turns back 
Unless you want to hurry and help him push him back. There you go. His tail comes up. It doesn't seem like it automatically moves back, but it might be slime that's in there that we might have to clean out so it gives a smoother back and forth turn. Otherwise, that's cool. I like Manny the Mammoth. He's blue. Pterodactyl looks super cool. He reminds me of Petrie, the little like bat there. So he came with the blue. You want Manny the Mammoth, get the blue hand here. And now, finally, we're going to our smashers. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it was an accident. I did a camera mom special. It slipped out of my hands, but I was teasing her going, hey, you can't have you open it up, break it out of the, the camera here. Nobody will see. Because what if it's an ultra rare? And see, that's why I make mistakes on camera so everybody can share the joy. <laughs> Woo! Ultra rare score. That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. I think I'm having better luck with these big eggs, uh, ratio speaking, for buying one and getting an ultra rare than I had with all the little ones that we went through. But hey, let's see if we can find any more. Oh, rat. Cool. I love the toxic rat. Oh, I love the uh, triceratops. We got reindeer. Oh, see? You don't want to lose these guys. We got Mr. Snakehead. Oh, we got Manny, but he's not an ultra rare. Cool, guys. So go ahead and put in the comments below which one's your favorite and which ones you're collecting. Are you collecting all three? Because this one I think is my favorite just because of the color, the spread of the wings. It looks super cool. He'd be my second and that'd be my third. And hey, if you guys got any ultra rares when you smash yours open, let us know. But so far, two for three. Now into the Fortnite challenge where I got to win the skin. And for the Blue Ice Age, well, she's blue and she's ice. And as far as the dinosaur, well, she's got her dragon dinosaur-ish wings. And if not, then besides the Valkyrie here, which is legendary, we have her trusty steed. It's Frostwing and he's got a cone of coal that's super cool. Nice, let's go. Okay guys, since I like making things, I'm gonna make an excuse. It's 1 a.m., I'm a little tired. And so, if I slip up in this, just hey, give me a like and a subscribe, guys. That'll help boost me. Oh, it's my favorite spot on the bus path. Oh, I just need to jump, let's say. Okay, since it's on the bus path, I expect a lot of dude dudettes coming down here. Let's just see how many when I level out. Okay, see, one, two. Very busy for the small town here. I think they're going to the house. I'll go to the utility shed here. Oh, hidden chest, nice. Cool, auto shotgun, good start. And what else we have here? Minis, let's pop those. And also another auto shotgun, cool. Get some ammo and let's kind of top it off with a little slurp and burp. Cool, on the top two thirds of the shield, let's go. Okay, okay, doors open, beach. Uh, okay, they're not coming out, so let's go and see what we got up here. Okay, ammo, keg, it's a party. That's what I need right now. Either that or a chocolate donut, you know. Well, <laughs> like I said, I'm a little punchy here. Oh man, pick up the ammo and ah, a little fire. Great, <laughs> like Indians sending smoke signals out, the fire signals, hey, I'm over here. Okay, I'll get my act together. Let's jump up here, do the keg, and then get the... Oh yeah, cool, combat SMG. Epic, nice. Okay, pick up the pot. First floor going down. Okay, look, I just get sillier the more tired I get, so have mercy. <laughs> like even if you don't like and like subscribe too. I just love you guys. I'm so grateful for all over 100,000 of you, including that chicken. Watch. If he gives up a gawk, that means he liked and subscribed. <laughs> oh yeah, we got like a subscriber. Woo! Oh, he left a chug splash. Cool. What are some other man's junk is? My treasure here. You know, it's funny. Every time I go to this house without fail, 99.9% .9 of the time when the doors are open, most of the chests are still there. It's like nobody checks. They may check the ground floor, and if there's a chest under the stair, they just bypass it. And, but there's like chests up here. Oh, they just miss it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finger slip. Great. Oh, okay. I knew it alerted somebody. Incoming. I see on my visual audio footsteps. I, oh, it's, I can't remember. I didn't slow down to see if there was a chest in there, well, you know, through the visual audio. Okay, fine. Oh, okay. 
Now we got a second player here. Let's splash it out. I know I can't put my head up there. I see him. Just gotta get in here. Whoa. Okay, somebody's firebombing the house. I think there's a total of three, me, four here. One in the house, one on the left, and one on the right. Oh, okay. They're throwing those purple dealies, those bomb things. I call them purple dealies because I don't know what they're called. Oh, getting sniped. Okay, I'm out of here. Burning down the house. No longer my house. Okay, we're out of here. Pink Cadillac. All these pop culture 80 references. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you. I may go back further in time and do 60s and 50s. Oh. Okay. I gotta hurry and find something. Okay, I'll take the striker. That's a nice little upgrade there. You know what? I just don't feel confident sitting around here because if one of them's running after me because I know I'm pretty low, I'm so like toast. Well, I wake up in the morning about 6 a.m., have a little jelly, a little jam, take two pieces of bread, put them in the slot, pull down the levers, and the wire get hot. I get toast. Yeah, toast. Brown bread. Oh, man. Okay, hang with me, guys. I can make it through. These references are helping me stay awake. Interesting, the shooting stops, so I assume they're done. I think maybe I'm good. Oh, if this was builds, I could have built a stair by now and stay the jump. Man, I cross back and forth. Builds, no builds. Sometimes builds are pretty easy. I finish in, if not the first, within the top five. Okay, see me, oh, chest, no, yeah. Chest comes first. Nothing there, okay, now minis. Okay, now across the way, over the river, or in the river, and to the woods, to Peely's house we go. Yeah, that's right. You guys want to pick me up in Fortnite? You're in this side of the, uh, or this neck of the woods here. You got somebody who's very appealing. It's Banana Man. You go and say hi to him and he weighs back all <laughs> eager to see ya. That's cool. Dropped me off a big pot, which I really needed. Nice. What a happy dude. Thanks, Peely. Peel you later. Okay, I don't know if I'll have time to cut the lighthouse down entirely, but that's good enough. Let's see what's here. Oh, shockwave launchers. You know, I got the first, oh, ah. I left some shockwave launchers behind, didn't I? The max you can carry is six, I got from Forget It. Like I said, I'm kind of punchy tired a little bit, but you can support me. Go ahead and give me a like and be sure to subscribe. In fact, you can support a creator in Fortnite. All you have to do is before you purchase an item in uh, the item shop, just go ahead in the bottom right hand corner, say support a creator and type in adventure fun, all one word, adventure fun. It costs you nothing and it helps me out a little bit, which I really appreciate. Everything helps guys. I was saying about the shockwave launchers, oh, gosh, I'm beginning to see quite a few around here. I think it's a sign. Oh good, porta potty, hidden chest in there. No. Oh. Just rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> they call them bandages, yeah, as if. They just take the toilet paper and slap a plus sign on it and call it bandages. <laughs> I know when I'm getting jilted. Oh, more splashes. I tell you, the thing that keeps coming up to me are splashes and shockwave launchers. It's like I see them everywhere. Well, they didn't check the beach down here. They're missing a chest. Okay, balloons. I'm no clown. I'm not gonna be flying up in the air where people can take pot shots at me. <laughs> hey, win a prize, shoot down, adventure. That'd be a fun challenge. Uh, see what I'm saying? Chug splashes. They're everywhere. I'm beginning to see them everywhere. Oh, okay, okay. Yawn alert. Pass the bedtime. Uh. Maybe if I got in a fight, that'd keep me awake, but then that'd get me to bed early. <laughs> Maybe I need a good nightcap. Like a crown. Oh, I see. I'm seeing them everywhere. The shockwave launchers. <laughs> there it is again. It's a sign. I tell you, it's a sign. Yeah, I see ya. I ain't gonna make the move. You just drive. Okay, how many players left? 11. Well, I avoided the first three that wanted to send me back to the lobby. Over in, oh, got a little action over there in Aztec country. Shockwave launchers, they're everywhere. Good to know. I can come back. Oh, <laughs> there's more. Guys, I tell you, it reminds me of one match I went into. And I promise you, the first four chests that I opened, they were all snipers and they were all common. Oh my gosh. It's like I was flailing for my life because everybody else had all these cool guns and I had a sniper. That I, okay, I'm not really good at snipers in close range here. Okay, I'm in the top 10, nine left. <laughs> Don't yawn at me. Okay. 
Oh, man. I'm daydreaming for a moment. I was like thinking I could just take a break here. And I see something moving. I'm like, is it real? There's a Memorex. Am I dreaming? Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Oh, pardon me, guys. Yawn alert. You're in your own uh, concert here. Yanni. There we go. I'm not yawning now. Cool. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got somebody else here. But I will see what's inside here. Yeah. Okay, what about that uh, drop there? Should go chicken it out. I'm not shooting each other. Should give me a little bit of time here. Okay. And... Oh. <laughs> I'll try this again. Oh man, what's this? They dropped a victory crown, dropped a victory crown, picked up a victory crown. How many crowns do they have in here? Man. Oh. That's cool. Like I said, I can't sleep without a good nightcap. I and mean, the crown would just make it right. Okay, four players left. Oh, there's a dude up there on the side of the volcano. Green part. Okay, somebody else dropped a crown. What is this? Bring around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all crown down. <laughs> oh God, so many crowns dropped. God, it's like they're slippery. Somebody greased them, put them on, they slide right off. Go oh, back, here come again. Whoa, party. Forgive me guys, it's just, it's late. And I'm not used to being up this late. Oh, there's a dude up on the side of Volcano there, going up, shots up above. Let's see if I can help myself out and do the bounty. A quicker picker, eliminator, upper. Who's the lucky contestant? Eh, oh, that's a cool skin. I like that. That's awesome. Fiery and the mask. Okay, got a bogey on the other side. A boogie. I like the boogie. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> the stairs sh shook. Man, that dude's carrying too much metal on him. Let me help you lighten your load. Oh. Well, that was the quicker picker up her <laughs> bounty. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a run for it here soon. Oh, look, on the mountain. Oh, wait, somebody's shooting at me. Okay, I'm out of here. Time for shockwaves. No, oh, she's still up above me. Okay, let's shockwave again. Mm, let's splash it out here. Okay, let's. Pretty good. Shockwave. Oh man, incoming. Somebody called in an air raid. Okay. Oh. 1v2. Another air raid? Oh, there she is. 36. Okay, let me reload. My best weapon here. There we go. Okay. Oh, did you see that? She dropped the crown, but then it didn't immediately give me the victory royale. Oh, somebody was probably down the volcano. Man, that's awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm gonna hit the bed. Now I got a nightcap. Woo! Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.